Hey, kindergarten, and welcome to your 15th lesson. Holy moly, can't believe we are on lesson 15. Um, so Miss Sarah and I have been talking to you guys about calming down. So we now know that our first step is to put our hands on our tummy and say, stop. We know step two is to name our feeling and step three is to calm down. So last time that we talked to you guys, we focused a lot on belly breathing. So when you do this belly breathing, you put your hands on your tummy. We're gonna do it together. Breathe slowly in your nose and out your mouth. I like to close my eyes when I do it. I think Miss Sarah does too. My eyes yeah. were closed, couldn't see her. <laughs> <laughs> but it just adds in a little bit of um, more relaxation, more, it helps me to calm down a little bit more. Um, so keep that in mind when today, or today when Miss Sarah teaches us all about how to handle when we have to wait for something or someone. Mm -hmm. So, yep, we're talking about what do we do when we wait? Mm -hmm. So waiting in itself can be really hard, especially depending, are you waiting on a friend to come over? Are you waiting for your class to go somewhere? Are you waiting for your parent or whoever to be done working? And waiting can be pretty boring too, right? It can be kind of boring and maybe we act up because we are bored that we have to wait. And so we're going to talk about what can we do to, one, kind of entertain ourselves, but also to calm down if we're feeling some type of way of fat waiting. So our story today is about a little girl named Lucy. So I'm thinking you can picture or find Lucy. She's right here. And Lucy's class is getting in line to go out to recess. Mm. And we all love recess, right? You get out of class. You get to go run around outside, play, kind of just, you get your own free time. Okay, so take a look at this picture. How does Lucy look in, compared to the other kids in line? Well, we don't see any of those other kids' faces. They're all facing the front of the line. Their arms are at their side. And then we see Lucy kind of just like dancing around. So... <laughs> The kids are supposed to be waiting patiently, which patience can be hard, patiently and quietly in line. But Lucy cannot say so. She's like, I get some free time outside. I get to run around. I mean, they're not wearing their coats. It's a nice day. And Lucy is spinning. She's singing. She's bumping into the other kids that are patiently waiting in line. How do we think Lucy's feeling right now? She's feeling excited. She's very excited. She's very happy. She has a lot of energy. Um, excited is a strong emotion. And excited is a comfortable, positive emotion. And we know right now that Lucy needs to calm herself down. So when we have been talking about calming down, we've been talking about more uncomfortable emotions, sad or angry or disappointed. But sometimes even our really good, positive, comfortable emotions are a little too much and we have to calm ourselves down. Have any of you ever been so excited about something and your parent or your teacher told you to calm down so you were bouncing off the walls? That's mm -hmm. what is going on with Lucy right now. And not only that, because Lucy is bouncing off the walls going crazy, it's making that wait longer. Have you guys noticed that too? If you're excited and your parents or teacher or aunt, uncle, whoever asking you to wait and you don't, it just makes that even longer that you have to wait. Okay, this girl's got to calm herself. So do you remember what she has to do? Put her hands on her tummy and say, stop. I am feeling excited. And again, look at it. She's, look at her hair. She's twirling around. Okay. <laughs> So Lucy decides she's gonna take some belly breaths, to relax the body. So that slow breath in through the nose, out through the mouth. So Lucy has to take a couple of those. Sometimes it's not just one, maybe you gotta take 10. Lucy takes like 13 belly breaths because she is so excited. <laughs> and then she's gonna do another way to calm down and that's counting. So counting can also help you calm down because you're thinking about something else. And when you count, you can count anything. 
whatever you want. You can count numbers, you can count cats, you can count ice cream cones, you can count the chairs in the classroom, <laughs> count the kids in line, whatever your heart desires. Um, so Lucy is like, all right, I'm gonna count. And she's gonna say something to herself too. We talked about talking to ourselves to help us feel better. Uh, what could Lucy say to herself to help her wait? What do you guys think to yourself when you're waiting in line? We should can just tell herself, I can be patient. I'm gonna wait. Because if I don't, it's gonna be a longer wait and I don't wanna get in trouble. So Lucy does some positive self-talk quietly to herself and she decides she's gonna do a little activity to pass the time so she doesn't get too bored and crazy in line. And she decides that she um, wants to count the other children in line. So when you're waiting in line, again, counting kids, maybe you can also do something with your hands, tapping your hands together, twiddling your thumbs. I like that. I do too. Or I like to do this sometimes. Close your eyes and think of, or listen to all the sounds that you can hear. What would you hear in a class? Maybe kids talking, a teacher talking, birds outside the window. So this is what Lucy does. She tells herself she can wait. She does her 13 belly breaths. She counts all the kids in line because she doesn't want to get in trouble. And guess what? By the time she gets to the 10th kid, the line starts moving and they're on their way outside. So counting the people in line, the belly breathing helped her to calm herself down. So good job, Lucy. I know I don't like waiting. Mm -mm. No, it can be really difficult to do. And the, the thing is, is waiting is something that's always going, going to happen. So what I want you guys to do is think about a time you had to wait. What was it for? Was it for your teacher? Was it for Zoom to start? Something with maybe a toy you wanted to use? Um, talking to the adult you live with? I know the last time I had to wait was a waiting room. And it gets kind of boring there. So you know what, you, what I did, I'm not going to get up and dance around, right? I looked at all the things. <laughs> could you just imagine? I just pictured you dancing around a waiting room. <laughs> like clearance day. And it would be like, are you okay? <laughs> so what I do is I look at all the stuff on the walls, whether it's posters, pictures, plaques, whatever. And I just read everything. And I sit there. And I read. When I was your age, my doctor's office had a fish tank. So I would look at the fish tank. Mm -hmm. That was pretty cool. Ms. Marissa, when is the time you had to wait? And what did you do while you were waiting? Well, I was also in a waiting room. So I was at the doctor's and I didn't, I ended up making a friend and I talked to her the whole time. And that made the, the time pass so fast. I couldn't believe it. it was a three hour. I was waiting for three hours and I just talked to her and talked to her. But before I made that friend, I also was just looking around the room. I was counting all the other people in the waiting room, um, just checking everything out, listening to the sounds. And then I made my friend and she really made the time pass. Nice, Miss Marissa. Another thing I like to do if I'm waiting is daydreaming. Just thinking about That's anything a good one else. Mm -hmm. Adrian, it's nice too. So think about an activity that you guys can do when you're waiting. Obviously, if you're waiting in school, you want like a quiet activity, so don't get yourself into any trouble. Um, but always remember the belly breathing can help relax the body. The positive self-talk, so talking to yourself, thinking to yourself, daydreaming to yourself can help out. Um, and a quiet activity, counting, counting kids, counting stuff on the wall. You mm -hmm. can read, read whatever's on the wall. And if you're able to, but don't get in trouble, talking to somebody next to you can sometimes help too. Unless your teacher tells you not to do that, then don't do that. Right. All right, you guys, we have your calm down song to play. So get up and dance. Oh, where is it? Here it is. Okay. And we will see you guys next time. Bye. You're gonna have to wait another week. Wait is the key word. <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs> Your heart is all a flutter, and you're panting like a dog. Your mind's gonna fall. It's time to.